what is going on folks welcome back to the channel hope everyone out there is having a good day or night or whatever it is you guys are experiencing right now you feel me um so <clears throat> the last episode i don't know if i mentioned it at the end but i've been working on the zc and uh i'm replacing all the studs with um or all the bolts and studs with the 1320 uh kit and um i had a little bit of an issue last night where i pulled a real big dummy move and i had a ratchet underneath this one nut and i ended up getting the whole thing stuck because the ratchet torqued down but then when you go to loosen it obviously it's free spinning the other direction so i ended up pinning a ratchet down against my block and you can see the damage that i did to it I am very disappointed in myself. Um, like the scoring on this is relatively deep. Um, I'm not like 100% sure like how I'm going to deal with this. I don't know if it's going to be a big, big deal. But I think what I'm going to do is actually when I go to fill or when I go to put this uh, gasket back on, um, I'm going to make sure that I fill these crevices with um, a little bit of Honda Bond and hopefully hopefully that is enough but yeah so I took this oil pan off and boy I did not do this right at all the last time there is no gasket on the crank side or the main seal so that's kind of that's kind of sus <laughs> and then when I went to take off the oil pan the oil pan had like nuts and bolts that were just finger tight and this thing was just leaking like a sieve and I think I figured out why I completely over torqued this thing probably because it started to leak and I was like oh well, I'll just tighten it down some more tighten it down some more and I completely blew out um, the corners of this oil pan right here and to top everything off there was literally no like no gasket except for right here and right here. so I think I applied the gasket in the spots where you're supposed to apply it on the block but yeah um, no wonder it leaked so bad so I'm working on that today and I wanted to go back over something that I, I showed in another video when I was doing the intake manifold gasket I mean the intake manifold replacement um, and maybe when I showed it in the uh, oil pan um, stud video I wasn't doing the stud removal correctly obviously I still wasn't doing it correctly when I started this but basically you should be able to get away with stacking on two nuts like that and you're gonna torque this one back up towards this one while you're torquing this one down and that's gonna create pressure uh, and surface it's gonna it's gonna use the surface area that's um, doubled up from one nut to two and you're gonna have that much more clamping power when you go to take out the stud so I'm gonna show you this real quick and then that's gonna be this video pretty much because I've already showed you how to do um, the studs on the B series so once you get these started you can go ahead and get your wrench on in there and then like I said you're gonna basically turn the bottom one left while you're going to turn the top one right and that's going to lock that um, those two nuts together and we should just be able to oh, this one might be giving me trouble like the other one did the one in the middle right there and this one right here both were both being pretty difficult yeah this one's gonna be a pain in the ass too I don't know what it is with the main the middle stud on this side and this side but they're both being complete pain so what you can do is stack up another nut there and that's going to add one more 
you know, nuts size. I don't even know what I'm saying. You're going to add that much more surface area to that. All right, so I got the three nuts stacked up there. And let's see. Let's torque it down. And let's see if I can loosen this now. Boom. So just one more nut is all that one needed. I was out here for hours trying to fix the mess that I made last night. I was so mad. So now I only got uh, three more to go. But if you're trying to do um, any stud replacing and two bolts or two nuts don't cut it, you can always try to add a third one in there or a fourth if you got enough thread. But don't just sit there and keep trying to use uh, two nuts because you're going to end up stripping the threads on either the nut or the stud. And then you're going to have to do what I did last night, which was rethread everything just to get um, back to square one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then when you're done taking out the stud and your nuts, you just break loose the nuts, reuse them on the next stud, and continue that until you're done. That's it.